there, hello there. This video is sponsored by Audible and I'm really excited. I'm so excited. I'm a painter, I paint things. Painting takes time. Often, while I'm painting in the background, I do have an audiobook on. <laughs> it's a nice form of entertainment while I do my work. Which is why I'm just genuinely really excited to be collaborating with Audible. Like, it's really cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and start this painting while I give some recommendations and some tips. This is going to be one of the paintings that is in my gallery show. I'm painting it on a canvas that's a bit different than what I normally paint on because normally I go for a rectangle shape and this is a rectangle but it is a, it's a longer rectangle so it's different <laughs> and the reason for this is we are painting a parrot my gallery show is jungle and safari themed so you'll be seeing a lot of animal paintings coming up soon the reason I chose this canvas is because parrots are very thin but very long those tail feathers very very long and while I was painting this particular piece I was listening to the audiobook good almonds I am obsessed with this story right now it's just Brilliant. As far as other audiobooks that I've listened to though, I will listen to anything that Emma Thompson has narrated, absolutely. Her audiobooks are my favorite purely because her voice is just magnificent. It is glorious. Everything about it is perfect. Oh, sorry, girl crush. Um, <laughs> I'm also in the unique position where a lot of my friends are published authors, so I can listen to them while I work. There's something about it where it just, it just makes me feel really proud. I'm just proud the whole time and like smiley. <laughs> so there's Connie's work, Undercover Princess, which I cannot recommend enough. And then there's the works of Carrie Hope Fletcher. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Your voice, Carrie. Oof. Audible does contain an unmatched selection of audiobooks, some original audio shows, news, and comedy. It is something that I recommend and I do love it, especially if you're an artist or do something where you need to have your hands free. And it is hard work, hard lawn work. <laughs> so it is nice to have a bit of entertainment going on in the background. If you'd like to give it a try, you can go to www.audible.com slash banana germana or text banana germana to 500 500 and you can start a 30 day free trial, receive one free audiobook of your choosing, and get access to two audio originals on an ever changing list. Ever changing? So that's my little tip on what to do while you're painting to entertain yourself. <laughs> painting I am working on today is a macaw parrot. I've tried doing different versions of this parrot, but I really wanted to do a proper one in oil paint. The background is still acrylic paint, but the top coat is oil. Oil just blends nicer. I also did a bit of airbrushing on the painting just to kind of soften the tones in the background, that acrylic paint. <laughs> but the top coat of the parrot is an oil paint. I did do an undercoat of acrylic. I tend to do this because paintings look better with two coats of paint, but with oil paint, if you did two coats in oil, that's gonna take months. That's gonna absolutely take months. <laughs> oil paint does take about a month to properly dry, three months before you should really varnish it. The reason for this is even if oil paint feels touch dry, in that three months it still could shrink a little bit and if you've varnished it and it starts shrinking underneath the dried varnish then it's going to crack said varnish <laughs> so this painting is technically three months away from being fully finished i will varnish it then and then all the acrylic and oil paint will look consistent i do love painting parrots parrots and tigers are probably my top two picks they're colorful and they're dramatic they're very dramatic pieces and i like working with colors i'm a painter <laughs> Parrots are really extraordinary because they do contain the primary colors, so there's a lovely level of vibrancy that comes along with them. Right now I'm keeping them very simple where he's on a mystic branch that's floating from nothing. <laughs> the style of painting that I tend to choose is surrealism, where I have a realistic element to it, but I twist it in such a way that's not realistic. I might spend more time on the background on this one later, some more blades of grass and things. Until that varnish is on, that painting is fair game. <laughs> is the shiny part. The not shiny part is the acrylic right now. I haven't painted the edges yet because I haven't decided what color I want to paint them. And every artist has their own preference. I tend to like to paint the edges because I feel like it finishes out the painting. Some artists make a point not to paint the edges and that's how they like to do it. If the edges haven't been painted, it does look more painterly. Also, if it is going in a frame, there's no point to paint the edges. <laughs> I did go for more of a whimsical background. So this has been my video. Again, thank you to 
Audible for sponsoring this video. There's more information about that in the description along with the free trial code and things. I do have my golden pen giveaway. If you'd like a chance to win a pen, then leave a nice comment down below. We are halfway through the year and at the end of the year, that's when the golden pen changes. Uh, yeah, so if you'd like it, please leave a comment. I look forward to hearing from you and I love your comments. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye, 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 bye. Goodbye.